Why should you think that I should woo in scorn? Scorn and derision never come in tears. You do advance your cunning more and more. These vows are Hermia's. Will you give her all? Your vows to her and me put into scales will even weigh and both as light as tails. I had no judgment when to her I swore. Nor none in my mind, now give her all. Demetrius loves her and he loves not you. Oh, Helena, goddess, nymph, perfect divine, to what my love shall I compare thine eye? Crystal is muddy. Oh, how ripe and show thy lips, those kissing cherries, tempting grow. Oh, spite! Oh, how! I see you're all bent to set against me for your merriment. If you were civil and knew courtesy, you would not do me thus much injury. Can you not hate me as I know you do? But you must join in souls to mock me too. If you were men as men you are and show, you would not use a gentle lady so to vow and swear and super praise my parts when I'm sure you hate me with your hearts. You are both rivals and love Hermia, and now you're both rivals to mock Helena. A trim exploit, oh, a manly enterprise, to conjure up tears in a poor maid's eyes with your derision. None of noble sort would so offend a maiden and exhort a poor soul's patience, all to make you sport. You are unkind, Demetrius. Be not so, for you love Helena. This you know I know, and here with all good will, with all my heart, in Hermia's love, I yield you up my part, and yours of Helena to me bequeath, whom I do love and will do until my death. Never did mockers waste more idle breath. I sound and keep thy Hermia, I will none, if ever I loved her, all that love is gone. My heart to her, but well, guess why sojourned? And now to Helen is home returned, there to remain. Helen, it is not so. Disparage not the faith, thou dost not know. Lest to thy peril thou abide, dear. Look, where thy love comes, yonder is thy dear. Thou art not by mine eye, Lysander found. Mine ear, I thank it, brought me to thy sound. But why unkindly did thou leave me? Why should he stay, with whom love doth press to go? What love could press Lysander from my side? Lysander's love that would not let him bide, fair Helena, who more engilds the night than all yon fiery ones and eyes of light. Why seekest thou me? Could not this make thee know the hate I bear thee made me leave thee so? <laughs> you speak not as you think. It cannot be. No! She is one of this confederacy. Now I perceive they have conjoined all three to fashion this false sport in spite of me. Injurious Hermia, most ungrateful maid. Have you conspired? Have you with these contrived to bait me with this foul derision? Is all the counsel that we two have shared, the sisters' vows, the hours that we have spent when we have chid the hasty-footed time? For parting us, oh, is that all forgot? All school days friendship, childhood innocence and will you rent our ancient love asunder to join them in scorning your poor friend not friendly tis not maidenly our sex as well as i may chide you for it though i alone do feel the injury i am amazed at your passionate words i scorn you not it seems that you scorn me have you not set lysander as in scorn to follow me <laughs> praise my eyes and face and made your other love, Demetrius, who even now did spurn me, but to call me goddess, nymph, divine, rare, precious, celestial. Wherefore he speaks this to her he hates, and wherefore does Lysander deny your love so rich within his soul, and tender me, forsooth affection, but by your setting on, by your- I understand not what you mean by this. Yeah, do. Persevere, counterfeit sad looks. Make mouths upon me when I turn my back. Wink at each other, hold the sweet jest up. If you have any pity, grace, or manners, you would not make me such an argument. But fare ye well, tis partly my own fault, which death or absence soon shall remedy. Well, stay, gentle Helena. 
Hear my excuse, my love, my life, my soul, fair Helena. Oh, excellent. Sweet, do not scorn her so. If she cannot entreat, I can compel. Thou canst compel no more than she entreat. Thy threats have no more strength than her weak prayer. Helen, I love thee, by my life I do. I swear by that which I will lose for thee, to prove him false that says I love thee not. I say I love thee more than he can do. If thou say so, withdraw and prove it so. Quick, come. Uh, Lysander, where to tends all this? Hermia, away, you! Take Anne as you would follow, but yet come not. Oh, you are a tame man. Hang off, Hermia, thou cat, thou burr, vile thing. Let loose, or I will shake thee from me like a serpent. Why are you grown so rude? What change is this, sweet love? <laughs> Thy love? Out, 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 loathed medicine, O oh, hated potion, hence. Do you not jest? Soothe, and so do you. Demetrius, I will keep my word with thee. I would, I had your bond, for I perceive a weak bond holds you. I'll not trust your word. What, should I hurt Hermia? Strike her? Kill her dead? Although I hate her, I will not harm her so. What, can you do me greater harm than hate? Hate me, wherefore? Oh me, what news, my love? Am I not Hermia? Are you not Lysander? I am as fair now as I was erewhile, since night you loved me. Yet since night you left me. Why then you left me? Oh, the gods forbid in earnest, shall I say? Yeah, by my life, and never did desire to see thee more. Therefore be out of hope, of question, of doubt. Be certain, nothing truer. Tis no jest that I do hate thee and love Hermia and love Helena even. Oh me, you juggler, you canker blossom, you thief of love. What, have you come by night and stolen my love's heart from him? Fine, I faith, have you no modesty? No maiden shame, no touch of bashfulness. What will you tear in patient answers from my gentle tongue? Fine, fine, you counterfeit, you puppet, you! Puppet? Why so? Hey, that way goes the game. Now I perceive that she hath made compare between our statures. She hath <laughs> urged her height, and with her personage, her tall personage, her height forsooth she hath prevailed with him. And are you grown so high in his esteem, because I am so dwarfish and so low? How low am I, thou painted maypole? Speak! How low am I? Am I not yet so low that my nails can reach into thine eyes? I pray, though you mock me, gentlemen, let her not hurt me. You perhaps may think, because she is lower than myself, that I can match her. Lower? Hark again. Good Hermia, do not be so bitter with me. I evermore did love you, Hermia. Did keep your counsels, never wronged you. Save that. In love unto Demetrius, I told him of your state unto this wood. For he followed you, and for love I, I followed him. But he hath chid me hence, and threatened me to, to spike me, spur me, nay, to kill me too. And now, so you will let me quiet go. To Athens I will bear my folly back, and follow you no further. Let me go. You see how simple and how fond I am. Why? Get you gone? Who is it that hinders you? A foolish heart that I leave here behind. What? With Lysander? With Demetrius. Be not afraid. She shall not harm thee, Helena. No, sir, she shall not, though you take her part. Oh, when she is angry, she is keen and shrewd. The vixen, when, we, when she went to school, and though she be but little, she is fierce. Little? Again, nothing but low and little. Why will you suffer her to flout me thus? Let me come to her. Get you gone, you dwarf! You minimus of hindering not grass maid! You bead, you acorn! Sander, 
You are too officious. In her behalf that scorns your services, let her alone. Speak not of Helena. Take not her part, for if thou dost intend never so little to show to her love, thou shalt abide it. Now Hermia holds me not. Now follow, if thou darest, to try whose right of thine or mine in most in Helena. Follow. Nay, I'll go with thee, cheek by jowl. At the Duke's oak we'll meet. You, mistress, all this coil is long of you. Nay, go not back. I will not trust you. I no longer stay in your cursed company. Your hands than mine are quicker for a fray, but my legs are longer, though, to run away. I am amazed and know not what to say. 